Hey everybody, Aaron here. This is another anime review, number 89. And today's review is going to be Aria, the Scarlet Ammo. Now, I hope you guys like the intro. Um, Next update, which is going to be Friday, I'll talk a little more about what I did with it and why I did it. It's very simple, so I, I really want some feedback, guys. If you want me to keep it, get rid of it, it's all, it's all up to you. But I figured it's a little nicer than what I've been using so far for an intro, which is just the title card. And I thought, you know, hey, listen, I want to give you guys a little bit more quality. But like I said, I'm not going to give you too much rambling about that right now because honestly, what's more important is the review, which is why you're here. You don't want to hear me ramble about behind the scenes stuff. So today, Aria the Scarlet Ammo. And I'm going to say Aria the Scarlet Ammo was a show I actually really liked. I thought it was really different for kind of a romance story with some harem elements here and there. But it wasn't a main focal point of the show. It's not like this is all about harem. This is actually more about... The male protagonist getting with the female protagonist. And, you know, it, it works in the sense that the harem elements are there to kind of further the power of the main character. Which I'm going to explain in a second why I mean that. But anyways, the main premise of Aria the Scarlet Ammo is that a new school has been established to kind of prevent further crimes from happening. You know, the world that we live in now is getting more more rampant with crime. And I mean, and by the way, I'm t I don't mean our world. I'm not trying to get politically correct. But I'm saying in the world of Aria the Scarlet Ammo. Even though sometimes you wonder, like, wow, that's, that's crazy sometimes, the uh, the comparisons. But are the Scarlet Ammo, in that world, the rampage of crime is becoming an issue. Where, you know, law enforcement are trying to figure out how ways to stop these kind of new special breed of people coming out that seem to have very special ways of using guns and, and using various skills that they just can't deal with them anymore. So what they did is they decided, you know what, let's hire and let's train students, but more so let's get new students to a new school and kind of see what we can do from that. And so enter our main character, Kinji Toyama, which by the way, I'm gonna point out really fast, Kinji in this show is the main protagonist. He's, he's the one that takes the male, fem the main male, female, or the main male role. I could not put that together, wow. And, and I'm gonna leave that in there because I think that's funny, but um, Arya, who's the female protagonist, takes more center stage in the sequel. Which, so if you're watching this review to kind of understand why the new show has come out, or if you maybe heard about the new show and haven't heard about the original one, and you know trying to find information about it now, because that's what I'm thinking some of you might be here for. Just note that Kinji really doesn't show up too much in the second season. He's really more the first season's protagonist, not the second one. But anyways, Kinji is your kind of male protagonist of the show. He's the really strong, strong character that is really ranked low his, his rank in the show is i think e ranking which is you know like everything's based off a scaling or s scaling type stuff he's the lowest rank however kenji has one special power which you learn really fast is that when he gets sexually kind of strengthened so like if he sees something that's sexually strong to him so example you know pervy shots here and there he actually becomes a super type human who all of a sudden is like a master shot with every type of gun he uses his eyes change color his whole entire aura changes color even his personality changes to be more of like a, a savant and you know he's like oh now i'm a ladies man all of a sudden which is kind of funny it's something very awkward and very different for a show like this sometimes i say awkward by the way because the main field member protagonist aria doesn't really have unless you like that type of character design doesn't have that sex appeal that you know the show tries to push forward so much. But what I like about it is that in the same token, though, it's something that you don't see too often in shows like this. I mean, like, I, I can think of the similar kind of anime being um, Zero, uh, too familiar. Because that kind of reminds me of what Luis was in Aria. Like, because, you know, there's Sundere type characters who are, you know, crazy, but have that cutesy side inside of them. But Aria is actually Aria Holmes. I forgot her last name. I think it's, uh, oh, it's Kanzaki. Who she's related to Sherlock Holmes. That's why "quote unquote" Holmes is in the middle of her name. But you know, it, it's it's a thing that they meet up and right away kind of hate each other a little bit here and there. But at the same time, when she sees his power unlocked, she's you know shows some interest in him. And you also learn why she looks the way she does, even despite it being this is a high school setting and why all these characters are like this. But the whole show essentially boils down to two things: romance and harem comedy. Now, the romance element of it is front and center actually it becomes pretty i want to say main focal point of the show in the third or fourth episode this is going to be just all romance and action which is cool don't get wrong i like that it's actually something that you don't see too often that romances bloom early in anime most of the time and i know this is a fact 
most time anime romances kind of bloom toward the end of the show and Arya tries to go for it as early as it can and put it right out there like hey this this is who likes who and this is what's going on and you know Kinji as a main character is pretty cool I actually like him um I'm more akin to the Japanese dub sometimes I think I think the Japanese dub sometimes makes everyone sound a little bit more suiting to what their characters look like than the English dub which is very odd for me to say because I do like English dub a little more sometimes than subtitles but uh, I will say that I think the Japanese dub takes it a little bit here. But overall, though, Kinji is a cool main protagonist. I, I like him in the sense that he's not your typical... I, and I, again, I don't really want to call the show a harem, but he's not your typical harem kind of protagonist where, you know, he's very, he's not weak-minded and right off the onset. Like, he's not, oh, I'm, I, I don't know who likes me or what. No, he knows that he has that weird kind of quirkiness that he sees, you know, anything sexually strong to him and he goes crazy and, and erotic and he goes like wow this is you know he becomes crazed and i like that though i think that this is a really kind of unique way to make this show but you know aria on the other hand i think is your typical sundere and that's not that's not per se bad thing per se but it's also at the same time very weak i, I think aria could have been a little bit done a little better here and there i want to say that i've seen some of the second season i haven't seen a lot of it yet but i've seen some of it and i think because she's the main protagonist, it actually helps the show a little bit more, and it helps her as a character. But when she's in this show, her issues are your typical, you know, Sundere character issues, where she's tough here, but then also she's cutesy when you know he's around, and you know she she gets jealous of when other girls enter because there are other girls in the show, thus the harem elements. But overall, you know, Arya the Scarlet Ammo is a pretty good show. It's not, you know, you need to watch it to understand the second season because. The majority of the female protagonists in the first season, which is this one, do show up in the second one, and you're going to be lost like who's who. They do slight things of intros for them in the second season, don't get me wrong, but not enough that you'll understand what particularly makes these characters these characters. And I'll tell you right now, again, Kinchi's not really in second season. He shows up once, to my knowledge. And I mean, again, I'm not fully done with the show, but he shows up once, and that's about it. Uh, and from what I hear, that's you know that's not a bad thing per se, but it's I'm not going to be reviewing the second season yet. I'm probably going to review it way later because uh, I'm not I'm, I'm watching other stuff that I think's more interesting than that at the moment. But overall, if I had to review Ari the Scarlet Ammo A through F, I have to give it a good B minus. I want to say maybe yeah B minus. I'm gonna keep with. It's not a bad show. You know I, I like the uniqueness of what they do with the characters. I mean again, Arya even though she's the main char- uh, she's the main female protagonist. She has issues because she's so cliched and one-dimensional, but at the same token, it does work for what makes the show kind of funny. You know, when the when the action sequences are done, the second part of the show, which I forgot to even mention, is the comedy harem stuff that, it, you know, it, it makes the show more fun to watch besides the action, so this way it doesn't just crowd your mind with action. But it works in the sense that, hey, this is action, we know what it is. Now... I'm going to say that, again, this show is not something you're going to particularly care for after you watch it. Like, you're not going to go, oh, I need to go buy it now on, on Blu-ray or DVD combo. I need to go buy it now. And I'm not, you know, it's not going to be your top 100 favorite anime. It's a show that you watch, enjoy for the time being, and then you're done with it. I think that's, you know, not a bad thing per se in this in this type of anime. But just note that, you know, it's not meant to be, I think, a great, great anime. It's meant to be just a fun and unique show and it does really have some cool elements to it that again like having the main character being the way he is is awesome i think that's that was a good idea with it and i think it's something different for this type of show but anyways guys that's it for this review i hope you guys enjoyed it uh please like comment subscribe you know the whole nine and as always until i pass cross again next review have a good one everyone bye oh oh uh, actually not by yet really fast also uh expect the update that i was just talking about in the beginning of this video the update video expect that on new year's actually i'm gonna put that on new year's day because i'm not gonna be able to do a review per se but i'll talk more about what i'm doing what's gonna happen with the channel etc etc but anyways guys that's it for now now i'm done you can click off the video bye